Hey guys, um, Adam Time Lord Fishwick here, and I'm back with a new video. Sorry that it's been a while. Uh, I know I promised you guys that I will be doing more videos though, but I am now though. But so yeah, sorry about the, the delay. But anyway, um, I've got a theory in my mind which I haven't. I, I just it's just been in my head for a while, and I just really wanted to share it with you guys. Uh, but I could be completely wrong about it. But please do. Tell me if, if I've done any mistakes in it though, but I'm only just saying what I know from it so far though. So, um, in this video, I want to talk about how long was each incarnation was the Doctor for, like, but for this universe, not the Doctor Who universe, because obviously, you know, Hart no 1963 to, um, to 66, and then, you know, all the way to. McCoy to um, eighteen to eighty nine, uh, but uh, but the seventh Doctor is one of the is one one of the main reasons reasons for this video and the eighth Doctor because uh, you know of every dot because we all know or, or the previous Doctors we all know how long they were the do they were the, the they were the Doctor for. Um, but the only reason why I want to count, why I want to talk about the 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 seventh and eighth Doctors, because obviously we didn't have no Doctor Who throughout most of the nineties, um, and you know the early two thousands as well. Um, it was more later on in the two thousands thousands when we got Doctor Who back though. But um, but but you know the the seventh Doctor. Obviously, we know Sylvester McCoy started playing the role in 1977. Um, you know, we had this, we had him for three years. Uh, the show ended in 1989, uh, so that would mean that the seventh Doctor was the Doctor for ten years, if if you want to count the uh, the first. His first three years, so in a way, Tom Baker's not the longest Doctor. <laughs> um, but you know, I'm only just—it's only by default, though, in it. Um, and uh, so, yeah, the so we so the, Sylvester McCoy was the Doctor throughout 1987 to uh, you know, eight, eighty, eighty-eight, eighty-nine. 90, 91, 93, 94, 95, 96, you know, all of that. Uh, so, yeah, that would mean that the Seventh Doctor was the docked for 10 years. Um, so, um, uh, but I would like to know what they would be doing, but, you know, I'm guessing that I don't know when Big Finish actually came out, though, because I like to count some, some Doctors for their Big Finish, though. Um... Especially Paul McGann, um, but Paul McGann, he's the. Now he 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 is um, the doctor I most want to talk about for this video. Uh, so, you know, this the movie came out in nineteen in nineteen ninety six. That was the year I was born. <laughs> um, so you guess I guess you guys know how old I am. Um, um, so. That would mean that that we didn't really hear much from um, the Eighth Doctor from the, the majority of the 90s, though, because I believe that... Um, uh, I, I believe that um, Storm Warning came out in 2000 and... It came out in January 2001, so we didn't really know much from um, the Eighth Doctor throughout the 90s. Um, but you know, I'm still I still want to count that Paul McGann was the Doctor then. Uh, but so you know, the the majority of the of the Eighth Doctor was throughout the 90s was unknown, unless I know we've had like. Um, I, I know that we've had like um, 
you know, stuff. We've, we've had stuff of Doctor Who in the 90s, though, but I know it wasn't like Paul McGann, though. Um, but, 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 yeah, but I, I think most people, you know, if you want to count Paul McGann um, as, you know, big finish, though, he is base. He was the longest Doctor just by default. Even Paul says said it himself in um, the Ultimate Guide. You know what they call me? The longest and the shortest. I was the Doctor for the longest, just by default. But I wear the name with pride. Um, but, um, but he must have... Um, but I'm just guessing that, um, that the Eighth Doctor... Um, didn't start to regenerate until 2003 because I'd like to think that the time war was going go well I know that uh, the eighth doctor was was I, I to do stuff did, did do some stuff in the time war though for all his big finish though but I do I don't want to count um, when the doc I want to count when the doctor started the time war song so I'm guessing that, say that the Eighth Doctor regenerated into the War Doctor in 2003. So I want I want to make it look like that the Time War happened for for two years. So he must. So the Eighth Doctor must have had uh, Charlie and Lucy Miller throughout uh, uh, two f throughout um, throughout early 2000s though but I don't know where to actually rank um, them prop where, where to actually rank um, is is early big finish though because I don't know if we can put, actually put them into the 90s though because they didn't come out until 2001 though but um, uh, but yeah but I don't know where to actually rank um them prop where, where to actually rank um is is early big finish though because I, I don't know if we can put, actually put them into the 90s though because they didn't come out until 2001 though but um but I, i'd like to think that paul mcgann was the doctor throughout um did all that stuff in in the 2000s and um maybe in the 90s I, i'm not sure though his timeline's a bit confusing when it come when it comes to that um but i i just but when it just comes to that certain point in um the time war i just like to think that he he started the um um he, he didn't start to regenerate until 2002 and then the time war was happening throughout two thousand and uh, three and three and four. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to have a little, you know, chat about. It. I know, I, I know. If I think it would be much more easier if 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 his big finish was mostly going on throughout the nineties. Um, I, I, but yeah. Um, so you know basically the eighth doctor is the longest doctor just by default and i gotta say i really love the eighth doctor now after meeting him and all that i i i really like the eighth doctor and um and it, and i just think that's a good theory i've thought of um but you know i but i, I know that his i, I know you guys probably know more about the Eighth Doctor more than I do, though. So you guys can probably tell me in the comments like what, uh, what, what was actually going gone throughout his era uh, in Big Finish, though. But I just like to think that uh, that he did that po that the Eighth Doctor was uh, that Paul McGann was the dot did his Big Finish throughout the nineties. And uh, the early two thousands, uh, but yeah, tell me in the comments what you think, guys. What you think about this theory? Uh, but yeah, that's it for me, guys. Um, I'm I'm gonna probably do more reactions of the last few um, big 
the last few Doctor Series 11 episodes because I know I haven't really reacted to them yet. Um, but I, I'm also going to uh, do what I'm thinking about Series 11 so far. So, yeah. But, yeah, that's all, that's all from this video, guys. Uh, yeah, please tell me what you think in the comments and please give it a like if you enjoyed it. So, yeah, I shall see you then, guys. Bye for now. Ah, hello. Why not subscribe to Adam Time Lord Fishwick's YouTube channel? It's very good, you know. <laughs> Goodbye.